I wondered for, for people like you who have faith and who are mo moderate, but also just looking for progressive values, yeah. you often only see your faith represented in one way. Sure. What, do you, what, what is that? Like, do you recognize your religion and those guys' religion? Well, I mean, when I think about my faith, I think about a conversation, right? And where I start to not really understand what's being said by, by people of, of many faiths, including my own, yeah. is when it's not a conversation, when what is being said is, oh, this is the answer, let's stop talking, right? right? And that doesn't resonate with my experience of the world or my understanding of what it is to be a person, right? My understanding of what it is to be a person is that there's a lot of things that we don't know in the world. There's things that we try to grapple with and we try to get a handle on some of the things that, that are meaningful for us. Mm -hmm. And I think that religious practice and, and I think this is true not just of my own religious practice, but of many people's religious practices in many faiths can be a very, very important component of that. Absolutely. Now, I mean, to, to the question of what we see, well, you know, there's a certain media bias, right? Like, so picture, um, picture most of my friends, right, who are, who are of a number of faiths, right, and, uh, and who are really lovely people whom anyone would have a, an interesting, engaged conversation with, who are able to see many sides of an argument and not going to say that, oh, my way is the way, well, those people aren't a news story, right? right? Those people are like, yeah, you're friends, right? So a news story is someone who's extreme, right? So for better or for worse, the, the media representation of, of faiths, all faiths, right, is biased towards that kind of extreme. And there can be a certain self-reinforcing effect that comes out of that. Um, but, you know, I'm comfortable engaging with my faith as an ongoing conversation, as an open conversation about what matters to me. There's a, there's a bias that suggests that people who are scientists can't have faith. And I, just, and I know personally, and I'm sure you do, that there are many medical practitioners oh, yeah. who are religious. So what kind of conversations do doctors who are steeped in science, right, medicine, like that kind of conversation must be really fascinating. Well, I think that a lot of people who are scientifically trained, right, so both scientists and, and doctors, would actually be very ready to acknowledge that there's a lot of unknown in the world, right? The more you know about science, the more you realize that it's important, it's rigorous. You can get very useful information from it, and it takes you so far, Does and it, it doesn't tell you unknown? everything. Like most things are unknown. Much more is unknown than known. Right. So I think a lot of people who are scientifically trained actually acknowledge that. Certainly in the practice of medicine, mm -hmm. there, is, there is so much that falls outside of the, the, the box where we know exactly what's going to happen. That if you're, again, it's this thing, if you're honest with yourself, right, you know there's certain things that you can do and there's certain things that you can't. You try your best, you use your scientific information, but there's a lot of human experience which exists beyond that.